What is up friend? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be switching out planner covers. So if that's something you'd like to see, then just keep watching. All right, so I wanted to switch out planner covers um, and I figured I would just do it on camera with you all uh, just so that you could see my process and kind of a little update as to what I've been using. Um, so currently I'm in my RS, uh, not RSL, my Philo planner from Ali Reyes, I believe is how you say it, but I've been absolutely loving it. She does not close. Um, I do have three months worth of dailies in here. Um, so that's okay. And also I don't take my planner on the go, I find. Um, I don't really need it on the go. I am debating though getting a pocket simply for to have a monthly on the go and some notes, um, just because that's nice to have. Um, but we'll see. Um, so for right now, I've just been, this is my main planner. This is what I've been using every single morning during my morning routine. Um, I check it daily. I write in it daily. Um, and you'll kind of see like what I have in here, but, um, let's get going. So I've been craving a little change and currently for Labor Day, um, Filofax does have, um, a promo code for like 20% off if you spend a certain amount. Um, and so I'm kind of debating getting a pocket one of Finsbury, the same color slate gray and the slate gray, as you can see is more blue, which I absolutely love on the, on the website. It definitely looks more gray. Um, so I kind of want to get one of those just to kind of, I think it'd be fun to match for the new year. Um, I've been <laughs> going back and forth between what I want to do for the new year and I don't even know yet <laughs> um, because there's so many new things coming out and I'm torn between things that catch my eye and the things that I'll actually use and be productive with if you get my struggle. <laughs> um, but we won't get into that now. I feel like that could be a whole separate video. Um, so I just took out the inserts that this was holding. So as I get new planners, you know, you get new inserts from Filofax and things like that. And um, if they're dated, I might not keep them. I'll try to use them for something else. But if they're not, if they're just like the to-do pages and like undated weeklies, um, I just hold on to those for future use. And this is how I store them is in my other covers. So I just took that out and I'll just put them into this planner. Um, after I'm done, so I'll just take out everything in my pockets. Honestly, I don't use anything in my pockets. I just like seeing all this stuff here. So I think that's something I might slim down as I move into this other cover. Cause as you can see, so I, yeah, there are definitely bigger rings in the Philo planner. Um, I think they're 30 millimeter rings and the file effects is like 22 or 25. I forgot. Oh, I think it's a little less than 25, honestly. So I think what I'm going to do is open this up in the middle and then we'll go from there. Just kind of empty everything, get everything out in the open, see what we're working with here. I love all the space in here, um, but I kind of want the option to be able to throw my planner in my purse on the go and not have it be too heavy. Um, and this is super heavy when it's all filled up. Um, and that's kind of my struggle with 30 millimeter rings is it gets filled up quickly and I can put a lot in there, but it gets bulky and heavy and then I don't want to take it on the go. So being in a final effects planner kind of forces me to um, slim everything down. So I'm definitely gonna have to take out some dailies, probably just have the current month uh, worth of dailies in here. Um, yeah, okay, so I like having my little dashboard here, all my kids' pictures, and oh my gosh, I cannot believe that we're already at the end of August. It's flying by, and I keep thinking like, baby's almost here. I'm 25 weeks. Baby's due December 11th. Um, okay, so right up here is just my inbox. 
And if I have anything that I want to brain dump, I'll put it there. It's just kind of like catch all. I was using the GTD method inserts from uh, Mommy Plans, but I, was, I wasn't really using those. So now I just have a brain dump section. Um, I like having this just to see, you know, pro the progress throughout the year. <laughs> I like to put the little stickers down at the end of the month. Um, so that's just before my first section. And then my official first section is my habits. So this is my cleaning tracker, mainly my cleaning tracker. And then I um, moved out my weight log and my workout log. So just my cleaning routine that I customized. And then I mark off what I do, some reoccurring tasks like adulting, and then just some extra trackers. And in my second section are my monthlies. And I've been using these all year long. I'm really proud of myself. Um, I really do love the Peanuts Planner Co. just monthlies that she has. Um, I don't know why, because you know, they're like standard monthlies, but I absolutely love these. So I'll definitely, I definitely think I'll be using, reprinting them for 2023, because um, I've been in them all year. So that's good. And this is just a file of facts. What is it? Like a flyleaf, like one tab flyleaf I got off Amazon. I think it was a two pack. And then, okay. So my calendar section holds my monthlies and my dailies. So, you know what? I could probably just put in September. I'm gonna put in, so this is how they are right now. I just have them tabbed off like that. So since we're on the last day of August, I will take these away and just keep September. I'll just hold October until we get there. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. All right. Um, it is nice to have like multiple months of dailies, but honestly, I don't really need it when it comes down to it. Okay. Third section is my self care section. So this is kind of large simply because there's also my home section in here. So, but it's divided um, with this tri folder fold out. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> tri fold folder. Um, so my self-care section, I use the Paper Test Designs and L Plans Collab. Um, I mark what I do each day and I have a little key here. Um, my workouts, I can probably take that out. In July, I have to print a new one for August. There's all my workouts that I did. And then for the weeklies in that same bundle, I mark or I uh, log my uh, meals for the day and my energy levels and I just reprint those monthly or every four weeks or so um, and then my workout log I've been using this basically all year long there were some months where I did not write anything down but I was working out I just didn't track it on paper because I do that in my virtual accountability group um, which if you are ever interested in that I always have the link down below to fill out the form to get more info um, my weight log and then daily habits so I, I mean it's satisfying to see this and it's only one piece of paper I'll just keep it in there um, but it's just my daily habits that I do every single day so I mark that just to make sure it gets done. I don't use it for like data purposes. And then this is kind of fun. So I put this up as a freebie. Oh, this was my cycle tracker, but I'm obviously not using that right now. Put this up as a free thing on my planner Instagram. That link is down below. Um, but it's the Rory Gilmore reading list. I'm created this and I want to get through it, but then I got into like book talk. So I haven't been reading off this list, but I like that it's here because I do want to slowly get through that. So that's my self-care section. I have this fold out tri-folder thing with all kinds of post-it notes. And then my home planner. This is the Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl collab. So it holds um, personal information, doctor's information, which if you saw my other videos, I still have not filled it out. 
uh, meal plan. I use the, uh, I'll show you, Pinot's Pineapple Co. Um, kind of Hobonichi style, but like divided up. And I first plan my dinners, which is changes. Um, lunches usually stay the same, and then I'll write down breakfasts. Breakfast and lunch usually stays the same for us, so I, you know, switch it up. Might switch things up a little bit from week to week, but they typically stay the same. Um, this is fun. I love the look of these. And then just other information like vehicle information, things like that. So that's what that is. I might have to take that home planner section out. We shall see. Definitely my meal planning section needs to stay in. But it's nice to have this. So, okay, so I'm gonna have to start going on the other side. So I'm gonna put that there. All right, so I like having my son's drawings back here. It's just cute. Makes me happy. Hang on, water break. Okay, my son's drawings. And then, let's see. My list section slimmed down a lot. And I only reference that occasionally. It's just like reference information that I will need sometimes, but not on a daily basis. And then gratitude section, as well as just like a little finance section. And I use the planner room shop gratitude weekly and then monthly. I'll show you that one. I love those. Those are part of my morning routine as well. Basically, I go through each section in my morning routine, um, and it helps me just stay on track with everything. Okay. I think we're going to fit everything. I'm kind of excited. Might be a little tight, but we'll see. I don't know if I can keep my Tombow in here. Okay, that's not going to fit. And this definitely will not fit. I struggle with pen loops. They're either too big, too small. I've not found like the right one. Okay, let's put my bookmark back on here. Oh yeah, she's big. <laughs> All right, so I don't, I don't think she's gonna close. We'll see. <gasps> Actually, she closes. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. The camera's shaking. Um, but, oh my gosh, I'm glad we fit that all in. Okay, now that that's all set up, um, I'm gonna figure out my pockets in a little bit, but I'm gonna show you just what I do with these other inserts. So these all still, oh, I'll probably want this one. Oh, shoot. Oh well, okay. So those are my dailies for October. I'm gonna leave that in there. Um, do I want to keep these? I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep it in here for now. And if I figure that I want to throw it away at the end of the year, I'll throw it away. Um, and then that. I'll just put these in here. Undated weeklies. So I found that I'm not really using a weekly planner anymore. I like seeing a month at a glance. So I love my monthlies. I reference that all the time. And then I just like making a game plan for the day. Um, and I find that, I don't know, I just don't stick with the weeklies lately. Um, it's just redundant information. So I've just been sticking with the dailies and it's been working. Um, okay, so there's that. And then let's see. These are just some recipes that I printed out. I'm gonna put that away in the recipe binder. Um, I definitely wanna keep my stickers. I'm not sure I'm gonna fit these. I might have to take those out. And then I'll keep my monthly planning. I like having latte, oh, stamps, yes. Um, we'll see about that. I'll keep my basic stickers. This can probably thrown out. I don't really need these. 
So, this is what we'll do. Let's put this here. And... Hmm. This coupon in here. Okay. And then... Other stickers in here, and as well as this one. Oh, there's that stamps and latte. All right, that is it. I'm really happy that I did this. I missed um, my fins buried, I missed the blue, so I'm really glad that I switched it out. All right, that is it for today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to see my future videos and hit the bell notification if you want to be alerted of new videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.